Number 8. Tamara Thomas and Erica Rayner In the summer of 2022, two Florida women were arrested for carrying out several 7-Eleven robberies in Lee County. The suspects were identified as Tamara Thomas and Erica Rayner, both aged 26, who were well organized in their criminal activity. They were caught on surveillance cameras walking into the 7-Eleven near Gladiolus and Summerlin in South Fort Myers. Thomas and Rayner wore masks while clad in black from head to toe and had also fitted their getaway vehicle with stolen plates in an effort to elude the authorities. One of them used a gun and demanded cash while the other ripped off as many lottery tickets as possible. That same morning on July the 27th, they'd also robbed a 7-Eleven located at 11891 Palm Beach Boulevard, from which they'd also made off with cash and lottery tickets. The police additionally connected them to a previous 7-Eleven robbery which had occurred on July the 8th. The two were eventually arrested after law enforcement conducted a traffic stop on the grey sedan they'd used in the spree. A search warrant was executed at their home and produced the stolen lottery tickets, as well as the handgun with which they'd held up the stores. Thomas and Rayner each faced three charges of armed robbery and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Number 7. Cassandra Garza Rangel and Jasmine Arlene Rojas Teenager Cassandra Garza Rangel and her accomplice, 23-year-old Jasmine Arlene Rojas, were taken into custody by law enforcement in Laredo, Texas, for attempting to rob a man with whom they'd had intimate relations. The incident occurred on September the 14th of 2022 and, as reported by the victim, it first picked up Garza Rangel in the evening. They had intercourse in an abandoned building and later on the teen called him asking to give her and Rojas a lift to a dollar store. He parked the car in a dark and empty lot near the store and the duo told him to join them in the back seat. The man then became intimate with both. At some point, Rojas wanted to blindfold him with her red top, but the man refused and tried to leave the vehicle. It was then that Rojas produced a knife, grabbed the victim by the shirt and told him that they were going to kidnap and kill him. He managed to get away just as Rojas instructed her accomplice to retrieve a handgun from her purse. The victim then called 911. Following the female duo's arrest, they gave a dramatically different account of the events. Rojas claimed that the man had offered them a lift but then pulled out a condom, which caused them to fear that he was going to assault them. She went on to state that she'd asked Gaza Rangel to brandish her gun, expecting that they'd have to act in self-defense. The stories, however, were riddled with inconsistencies, amplified by the fact that the man's wallet and ID were found in the teenager's possession. The duo consequently faced charges of aggravated robbery. Number 6. Lindsay Gaza and Emily Gonzalez Two Texas women were arrested in early January of 2022 in San Marcos after they'd robbed a restaurant and then engaged local police in a high-speed chase. 29-year-old Lindsay Garza and accomplice Emily Gonzalez, aged 31, entered a restaurant called Fuego, fired a weapon and then demanded cash. Shortly after the duo had fled the scene, the authorities were alerted and caught up with them on I-35. During the resulting pursuit, the women reached speeds of up to 94 miles per hour prior to crashing into a concrete barrier. They then tried escaping on foot but were eventually taken into custody by the San Marcos Police Department. Officers recovered the weapon as well as the stolen money while the duo consequently faced charges of aggravated robbery, evaded arrest and tampering with evidence. Number 5. Kimberly Lebron Martinez and Elizabeth Labe in the fall of 2021, an unnamed man visiting Miami Beach from Texas was approached in the thousand block of Collins Avenue by two women who asked him if he wanted to join them for drinks. The tourist told Kimberly LeBron Martinez and Elizabeth Labe, aged 20 and 19, that he wasn't interested in drinking, but agreed to accompany them. 
They went to a bar and later on bought some white claws before heading to Collins Park along 21st Street. The man eventually accepted a drink from LeBron Martinez. He would later remember that he immediately felt like he'd been drugged and soon became unconscious. While he was passed out, LeBron Martinez and Labe robbed him of several valuables that included a gold chain, Yeezy sneakers, an Apple iPhone, and his $10,000 Omega Seamaster watch. The women then went on a spending spree, making multiple fraudulent transactions with the victim's credit and debit cards, racking charges in excess of $15,000. The police tracked down the criminal duo due to the fact that they were wearing the same clothes as seen in the surveillance footage from the bar they'd visited with the victim. They were arrested and interrogated by detectives, whereupon LeBron Martinez admitted to the scheme, claiming she'd slipped a mixture of water and crushed Xanax into the victim's drink. The two women subsequently faced multiple felony charges in connection to the robbery. Number 4. Amber Mullins and Ashley Klein A violent argument erupted between South Carolina woman Amber Mullins and her living boyfriend, whose identity wasn't released at their Myrtle Beach home on September the 8th of 2022. She confronted the man for cheating on her with 27-year-old Ashley Klein, who was in their bedroom as the dispute unfolded. As later revealed by an arrest warrant, Mullins told her boyfriend, I've got something for you, before she went and retrieved a knife from the kitchen. It wasn't clear if Klein had been aware that the man was in a relationship prior to their tryst, but she actively participated in what followed. She held the victim down as 22-year-old Mullins proceeded to stab him, inflicting non-fatal injuries to his leg and neck. Mullins was at the time on home detention after being arrested by Horry County Police and charged with attempted murder. The incident had occurred in June of that year in the area of Walkermore Boulevard when Mullins reportedly shot at two people from her car. For the attack on her boyfriend, she was charged with assault and battery of a high and aggravated nature, as well as possession of a weapon during a dangerous crime. Klein was later released on a $7,500 personal recognizance bond after she too had been arrested on the former charge. Number 3. Antonetta Stevens and Janine Gonzalez at around 1 p.m. on August 11th of 2022, police in Gwinnett County, Georgia, were called to an apartment complex near the 2900 block of Buford Drive. 30-year-old Ashley Bocanegra had been left in critical condition following a physical altercation with a female duo. Bocanegra was struggling to breathe after she'd suffered broken ribs and a ruptured liver in the fight. She died in a local hospital before surgery could be performed on her. An investigation later revealed that the victim's boyfriend, who wasn't named, was also involved with another woman, 27-year-old Antonetta Stevens. She was friends with the man's sister, teenager Janine Gonzalez. The female duo lured Bocanegra to the apartment complex with the intention of attacking her in connection to the love triangle. They took the woman's phone and then viciously beat her, inflicting the injuries that ultimately ended her life. Gonzalez's brother, who was also in the apartment at the time of the attack, was left with wounds all over his back and shoulders after he tried to intervene. Boca Negra, who shared a seven-year-old son with the man, had reportedly moved to Georgia from New York seeking a better life for her child. A GoFundMe was subsequently set up to pay for her funeral costs and to help transport her body back to her home state. Number 2. Stacy Rodriguez and Hosanna Varela in the early morning hours of October the 6th of 2021, firefighters in Greeley, Colorado, arrived at a house in the 2400 block of 15th Avenue Court to find it fully engulfed in flames. After extinguishing the blaze, they discovered the charred remains of a man inside the residence. The manner of death for 35-year-old Chris Dickerson was subsequently listed as homicide, and an autopsy determined that he'd been fatally stabbed in the neck prior to the fire's onset. An investigation launched by greedy police led them to suspect Stacy Rodriguez and Hosanna Varela, aged 19 and 23, whom video surveillance had captured at the home on the morning of the fire. They were booked into the Weld County Jail on suspicion of first-degree murder, arson and burglary, as well as tampering with evidence. Their connection to the victim remained unclear and neither of them had a criminal background. As of the latest information available on the women's case, the hearings had been set for the summer of 2022. Number 1. Eleanor Ashford and Sarah Canseri 
Australian couple Eleanor Ashford and Sarah Kanseri were arrested in March of 2021 for a string of armed robberies conducted in the southwest Sydney area over the course of only two hours. Ashford and Kanseri, both aged 23, were described by local media as an Instagram influencer couple and the former was identified as the daughter of a well-known surgeon in Wollongong. The duo used a variety of tools in the robberies including knives, a hammer, and a rusty axe. Just before midnight on March the 25th, Ashford and Kanseri robbed a gas station on Heathcote Road in the suburb of Moorbank. Witnesses at the scene later reported that the women threatened the cashier demanding cash and cigarettes before fleeing in a Mitsubishi Lancer. While investigating the first crime, law enforcement received a second call from a gas station on Nuwara Road reporting another robbery. Then, at around 1.15 a.m., officials were alerted that an employee from a station on Camden Valley Way had been threatened with a hammer and robbed. The female duo said to have been responsible matched the description of the suspects from the previous two incidents. CCTV photos later shared to the media showed the armed couple, who were wearing headscarves as they carried out one of the robberies. Not long after the third incident, law enforcement stopped the Lancer and the search of it yielded the weapons used in the spree, as well as the cash and cigarettes they'd stolen. The couple were taken into custody on charges of armed robbery. Thanks for watching. Would you rather rob a bank with your best friend or be trapped in a hostage situation with them? Let us know in the comments section below.